Hello everyone, welcome to a Foreign Farming in the Philippines. Well, I thought I would... Uh, I can tell Marcel's not feeling real great this evening. Uh, this ain't my first rodeo, I think she's getting pretty close. She's having some back pain this evening. Uh, pain in the front and the back, so... I would imagine she's getting pretty close. I could be wrong, but... I think Charlie's going to be here in a day or three. So anyway, I thought I'd make her some dinner tonight, and I'm gonna. I'm trying to make something that we both can eat. Um, I don't often measure things, but because I am on this low carb diet, uh, I've got to. I have to at least make an effort to keep track of my carbs. So a tablespoon. Uh, I'm going to be making a gravy here in a little while. A tablespoon. You know, I'll get to that when I get to it. I've got to get the meat. What did I do with it? What did I do with the... <laughs> oh, I tell you what, I took it out of the... Uh, I took it out of the... It was frozen, so I thawed it in that pan and then took it out and didn't see it because it was down over the edge of the counter here. This is ground pork which I'm going to fry. I'm going to handle this camera up just a little bit for you guys. Hopefully you guys will be able to hear me. This is just ground pork that I'm going to fry up here. I should have dug around through the spices before I started this. I was going to add a little bit of sage to this. I'm going to dig around in the spices here and see if I can find it. Oh, it's right in the front. Now, as I say, I very rarely measure anything. But I'm going to make a the effort tonight, I'm going to sprinkle this into my hand here. Because this is about how much I would use. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. There you go, how now you can see. And I'm thinking that's about a quarter teaspoon. Let's see how close it was. Yeah, it was in between a quarter and a half, that much. Let's sprinkle that around in here. Probably should have used that bigger burner. In fact, I think I will. I want this to get after. everything around over here. How's that? I'm going to brown this a little bit because I'm southern and I like everything brown. I, I like my tater tots, french fries, fried potatoes, whatever. I like them brown. I like my meat extra well done. 
and it doesn't matter if it's a steak or whatever it is, I like it well done. Uh, like a filet mignon or something like that. Uh, just the slightest little pink left in the very center, which would be considered by a chef very well done. Uh, that's how I like my steak. Uh, those guys heat it up on each side and wave a flag at it and call it done uh, with blood dripping all over your plate after your steak lands on your plate. Now nah, I'm not that guy. I like my meat dead. I'm actually going to taste this meat. I just guessed at a half teaspoon of the sage. I don't want it to be overpowering. Uh, the sage flavor. I think that's enough for a taste test. And it's actually not enough. So I'm going to put some more in. So I'm guessing that would have brought it up to a full half teaspoon and that's all I'm going to put in it. A little bit of black pepper. Not much salt, just a little bit. And a lot of this is going to be drained out, but I want it uh, in the meat while it's cooking. Because I am going to drain this, I'm going to drain the oil out. I'm just going to let that sit there and cook. And I'll show you what else i got going on here. Uh, I can't have it, but I, I'm kind of designing this so Marcel can have hers over rice. So I've got the rice cooking there for her. Um, I'm going to make a gravy. Uh, it's, this is four tablespoons of flour. I don't often measure. I, I I don't think I've ever measured anything when I make gravy, um, but I am this time to try to keep track of the carbs. So four tablespoons of wheat flour. I think it's 7.8 grams of carbohydrate per tablespoon. Uh, this is a half teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going to use one uh, chicken bouillon cube might not be enough but uh, I, I want to you know what dealing with Maricel I should probably use too Maricel really likes uh, her stuff flavorful so I'm going to dig one more out here but hard to do one handed come out of there so I'm going to add another uh, chicken bouillon food now see that's that's what I like to hear. That's why I let it cook. You hear you start to hear that sizzle, and that means it's starting to brown and to caramelize. That means the water's gone. Can you hear that? Now to me, that's when the meat is done. When the water is gone, and it's actually starting to brown the meat and caramelize a bit. So I would call that done. So, I'm going to find a little bowl here. Actually, I'm going to find a big bowl. I don't know why this is always pushed out. I don't know how to do it, but I'll remove it. That way I won't have to push it back in every time I want to go get a bowl. Yep, this is going to require two hands. I 
actually, believe it or not, this was really lean pork because there's really no oil left in it. So, let me turn this off so I don't waste the gas. And now I'm going to make the gravy. I guess I might as well measure out the oil as well. I never measure the oil either. See, where can I put this? Right there. I'd have to do a little bit of creative editing too. I'm just going to start putting it in there and then I'll eyeball it and see if it's right. One, two, three, yeah, I'm thinking one more. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. So four tablespoons of oil as well. I'm gonna fire this back up. Get my other bullion cube ready here. Now the thing to keep in mind when you're using bullion uh, as a flavoring, you don't want to get it too hot in your pan because right? you can scorch it and it'll like separate. And then your gravy becomes a little bit grainy. So I'll gently move that around in there. I'm making gravy right at the moment. In goes the flour and the pepper, and we'll see if four tablespoons and four tablespoons is about right. Because it's the consistency of the roux that that's what I judge things off of. And if your roux isn't really, really a liquid, then you'll end up with lumpy gravy. And this is pretty close. Yeah. So I don't want that to brown at all. So I'm going to remove that while I get uh, one more ingredient. Which is a, a cup of water. It's nice having one of these dispensers. I'll tell you what. I don't keep the, the hot on. Because it only takes it about 30 seconds to make, or maybe a minute to make hot water. And what else I'm going to use is this uh, cream. Cream is almost uh, carb free. And this whole packet, let's see how many servings. Uh, 12 and a half. And it's point uh, carbohydrate, point eight. Okay. Per here, yeah, you hold that lump. Sure. It's 0 0.8 grams per uh, little box. So in goes the cream. Oh, it's open already. Yeah, about half of that. Mm -hmm. Get that to mix it around good. Mix, 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 mix. Mix, 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 mix. Yes. And the water. Mm -hmm. Mix, mix more. Mix, mix more. I may have actually should have mixed the cream and the water together. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this won't turn out lumpy. I should have mixed the cream and the water together before. Beforehand, but we'll test this out here and see how it's going to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as with any gravy, it's got to boil yeah. to turn into gravy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, lumpy gravy or smooth gravy, the taste is the same. I just uh, I consider it a. Uh, failure if it turns out lumpy 
because I, you know, I cooked for the public for a while and would, uh, would consider it personally embarrassing as a cook if the gravy came out lumpy. Mm. Mm. That's why. That's why. Okay. But it's not. But it's not. Mm. It's See? Nice and smooth. Very good. Very, very good. Wow. Well, that's boiling away there. I'm going to do a quick test. Okay. Wave my spoon around in the air a little bit. Yes. Needs something. What is it? The cream here, the cream here is kind of like the butter here. It has a weird taste to it. It doesn't taste like, just like cream. Mm -hmm. um, it tastes like something else is in it. And it's kind of overpowered the gravy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess it's all right. So now I'm going to add the meat. Add the pork, and then mix, mix, mix. Yeah, mix, mix, mix a little bit more. Well, I like it. Now, if I had some, I would. Uh, Chop up some uh, red and green bell peppers into this. Do we have some red and green bell pepper outside? You want me to get? Yeah, those aren't bell peppers, though. No. We have the green one. We do have a green one out there. No, we'll just leave it at this. Yeah, we have inside my plants. You have a red bell pepper? No, only no, green. Okay. Yeah, we'll just, this is good enough. It's, it's nice if there's green. Like, oh. Color. Well, it adds a little crunch to it, and it's some color, and it looks nice, yeah. and, and adds to the flavor a bit. Yeah. But I'm going to test this one more time. Actually, pretty good with the pork in it. Mm -hmm. A little bit more black pepper, because I know what's your name here. She likes her stuff yeah. peppery. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's yummy. That's yummy. Oh, Would you like to taste it? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, I'll get you a little taste here, nice and uh, nice and cooled off. Look at that. Look at that, huh? Look at that. <coughs> All right, test that. Wow. It's yummy a bit. Is that yummy? Mm -mm. Which, it's, it's not? Mm, yeah, it's actually pretty good. So I don't know what you call it. That's just something I've made up. Um, you could put this over uh, toast, broken up toast, kind of a SOS. Um, and no, I'm not going to translate that for you, love, because we have a, a kids' channel here too. Yeah. Um, over crumpled toast. Uh, Marcel's going to have hers over rice. Look at that. Did I did I do that right? Huh? Mm -hmm. Hmm, hmm, wow! Hmm, hmm. See, I can make rice. Oh, hmm. oh. Yeah. <laughs> I've let good. the cat out of the bag. I've, I've told her, I've actually made rice wrong two or three times for her to try to convince her I don't know how. <laughs> but I do not know how to make rice and I, I wanted her to have a good dinner tonight so I made her the rice properly. Wow. So I was thinking of making you a little salad also. You want a little salad, lettuce and tomato? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We'll make. We'll make. Yeah. All right, well, there you go. That's going to be Marcel's plate. Wow, I love it. Thank you. I put some pomelo on there in her salad. You eat all that salad, you hear me? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Thank right. you. Now I'm going to make my plate. All right, and this is my plate here. I've got a little bit of lettuce and tomato there. This is some tuna uh, with mayonnaise. I put some dehydrated onion in it, some celery salt. Thank you to everyone who brought me celery salt. You can't have tuna without it. And a little bit of salt and pepper. I like avocado. I think I've actually found a Haas avocado. I'm going to save the pit. I don't know how, I forget how many years it is to... Uh, 
for an avocado grown from a pit to bear. I think it's five or seven. It's a long time, I know. But I'm going to save the pit anyway because it, that, this is this does taste like a Haas avocado and it looks like one too. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to save it and this is my uh, pork gravy, pork and gravy, whatever you want to call it. Which is pretty dang tasty. Yeah. You've actually had a few bites of that salad. I'm, I'm amazed. I eat salad. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I'm making you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will get you a fan of me. You get me a fan? Yeah. I don't need a fan. Yeah, it's because it's hot. I've been cooking. Yeah. Well, alrighty, that's our dinners. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.